So the rate equation for a reaction is rate equals rate constant multiplied by the concentration of E. Explain qualitatively, so that's just using words, quantitatively is numbers, qualitatively is just words. By doubling the temperature has a much greater effect on the rate of reaction than doubling the concentration of E. Well, first of all, you've got to comment about temperature. Temperature is important because a reaction only goes ahead when the molecules have uh, um, equal to or greater than the activation energy so that's the first thing you've got to say and then you've got to say that doubling the temperature causes many more molecules to have this activation energy whereas doubling the concentration of E only doubles the number of collisions you don't know whether they're going to be successful or not they'll only be successful if they've got the activation energy so just doubling the number of collisions doesn't really doesn't mean that they're going to be successful ones so there's three parts for that first of all saying that reaction occurs only when molecules have an energy equal to or larger than the activation energy um, or activation energy is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to occur Doubling the temperature causes many more molecules to have that activation energy, whereas doubling the concentration V only doubles the number of collisions and the number of collisions, therefore uh, the collisions may not therefore be successful. Now we've got an um, uh, equation here, uh, natural log of K ln K equals natural log of A take away uh, activation energy divided by RT. That's always given to you. It's the Arrhenius equation. And you've just got to put some numbers in. So all we've got to do is we write it out and then we say uh, LNK equals LNA take away activation energy uh, divided by RT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take away EA activation energy divided by RT to the other side and that becomes positive. And I'm going to take LNK across to the other side and that becomes negative. So we now have positive EA divided by RT on the left hand side equals LNA take away LNK on this side. And we just put some numbers in then. Um, the only thing we've got to be careful of is that it says the gas constant is in joules per Kelvin per mole and it wants it in kilojoules. Um, so I've got to convert that joules into kilojoules. Now uh, a joules into a kilojoules, small into large, is a divide by a thousand. So 8.31 divided by a thousand multiplied by um, uh, R, so uh, RT is 8.3 and divided by 1000 multiplied by 300, that's the temperature, 300 Kelvin. So I've got RT here and I've got R in kilojoules per Kelvin per mole, I've got it in the right value here. Um, you could just work it out in joules and then um, and then divide by a thousand at the end if you wanted to. I've just divided by a thousand here to get my joules into kilojoules at this point. Um, equals uh, natural log of A, uh, which is the natural log of A is 2.57 times 10 to the power of 10. Take away natural log of K, ln uh, natural log of 0 0.00651. So I've just got these values from uh, the question. Um, and therefore I've got uh, activation energy, I've multiplied these numbers out, work these numbers out is 2.493 equals uh, 20, this works out as 23.97 take away, this one's a negative number, minus 5.03, two negatives by the way are equal or plus, so, and I've, I've, this is divided by on this side, so it's going to be going across the equal sign, it's going to be a multiplied by, activation energy equals 2.493 multiplied by these two numbers now added together and it'll come out as 72.3.